Good afternoon. Uh, this evening we're sitting out here behind the motorhome here on the ranch in Texas, and uh, I want a cup of coffee. And so I'm going to make some coffee on the fire, and so that's what we're going to do a video on today, campfire coffee. Now, technically, you notice I didn't call it cowboy coffee. Technically, cowboy coffee is just water and grounds in a pot. And uh, I've done that plenty of times. I've taken a saucepan and put water in it because there wasn't a pot available. Um, I've taken an empty uh, soup can, one of the larger ones because I was out and I needed to make coffee and boiled coffee in it. But we're not going to do that because um, I'm civilized now. And that's not how I do it if I can help it. Uh, so we're going to make some campfire coffee and uh, going to just make it really simple and going to talk about that. Now you notice um, I do not have fire. I mean, there's a little bit of flame licking up there, a little bit right there, but I have coals. Now, one of the first things you need to understand, whether you're cooking on a fire, whether you're making coffee on a fire, whether you're roasting hot dogs and marshmallows over a fire, you don't do it on a fire. You want coals. Fire is less heat. Fire is more smoke. Fire is, is not as effective. So we did the fire, and we burnt the fire down till we have coals, and we have a lot of heat but what we don't have is a lot of creosote. You say, uh, every time I do my coffee or I cook, my pans get all black. My coffee pot gets all black. One of the things that will contribute to that is you're trying to cook over fire. It's just like charcoaling in the backyard. Let the briquettes burn down until they turn white and let your fire, let your wood burn down until you have charcoal. Okay, it's white and you can see the red down in there. The second thing is, is the kind of wood that you use. Now, this is oak. Now, here where we're at in Texas right now, we have mostly, predominantly, a lot of live oak and a lot of cedar, a lot of cedar. We don't cook over cedar. Cedar burns easy. It starts quick. It burns hot, but it has so much oil in it, it gives off just a, a nasty black creosote smoke all the time. Uh, you don't want it in your food, and you don't want to be burning your pot. So we've used oak wood, and we burn it down until it's hot. Now what we use, this is what we use in the house when we make our coffee of a morning for breakfast, or, or we're out camping, we're on the trail, we use the same pot. Um, and this is a percolator. It's just a small one. And uh, so you fill it up with water up to about the bottom of this spout. And then you've got the stem and you put that in there. And then you have a basket. You put the basket in there. Now you need to practice your coffee, uh, the flavor you want, the kind you want, and how much. Now, basically I'm not too picky about my coffee as long as it's super rich and super strong. And so we buy as long as it's not Folgers or Maxwell House or something like that, and it's super dark roast, that's what we get. And we have found that for us in a pot this size, about one and a half scoops of grounds. And you just put that in, put the cap on, close it up, Put it on the fire. Now you can do one of two things. You can set it in the fire or you can have a rack over the coals and set it on the rack. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll take two flat rocks like this one and I'll set them and set them apart and scoop coals in the middle and put the pot on that. But this time I'm just going to put the pot right down in the coals. Now I'm going to turn it this way for two reasons. I don't want the handle in the hot part because it's got wood sandwich there and I don't want it burn off. Um, and uh, so then I'm gonna get my coals around it. And what's gonna happen is when it gets up to temperature, it's gonna start perking up in this little cap right here and you can see it. Uh, and then when it starts doing that, we'll move on to the next stage. All right, here we go. You can see here, it's starting to perk down in there. 
and uh, that's perking pretty fast and so again you want to test it how strong you like it we like it to perk for four minutes now just for the record this took 18 minutes for it to get to this point that's going to depend on how hot your coals are the btus um there you go move that a little bit so now she's perking up in there and uh so we're going to let that perk for about four minutes now you want to keep an eye on yours if it starts perking up in there really hard you want to adjust it off the coals just a little bit so it doesn't boil out through your spout but as long as you're doing that it's coming out and it's going down in the basket and going back through the grounds again so we're going to let that perk like that for about four minutes and then see what we got all right so she's been perking in there for about four minutes you definitely want to use a pot holder or a pair of gloves pull that off the fire we're going to set that aside for a minute we want to let the water that's in the basket finish draining on through and then we want the grounds to settle now i know people say you know if you throw some cold water uh, in there it'll settle the grounds and some people say throw eggshells in there and it'll settle the grounds and I've even heard put a couple of cold rocks in there um, Well, first off I spend so much time getting the water hot I kind of hate to dump cold water in there and who wants eggshells or rocks in their coffee I have a better idea slow down relax give it a minute and let it settle again you gotta find ways in your life to slow down you say Dwayne and nobody has 20 minutes to make coffee you got 20 minutes to do other stuff your life will be so much better your health will be so much better if you just slow down and your coffee will be better. Listen, the Keurig, we had a Keurig. We've had a couple of Keurigs, and I've got really good coffee out of Keurig. But you've got all of those cups and everything that have to be disposed of, and it costs a lot more money. You've got a standard old Braun or Mr. Coffee Maker that just pours the water on the top, dumps it out, and boom, there you go. It's fast, but the coffee isn't as good, in my, in my opinion, and you've got the filters and you've got everything man you got a campfire He's, Dwayne I live in town I work a job you can come up with something you can do something okay get a percolator you can customize the coffee the grounds you want the strength of the grounds how many grounds you put in how long do you let it percolate what am I customize your life Oh, Henry Ford, bless his heart, he made it possible with the assembly line for everybody to be able to afford an automobile. But that assembly line took off, and we are products of the assembly line today. Uh, don't you ever feel like cattle? When was the last time you stood in line at Walmart, if you can find somebody with a lane open? Uh, today is, I mean, we're in heavy holiday traveling season, What's it like going through TSA right now? Going through the lines to get uh, to get your tickets to get confirmed. You said, well, they got the automatic deals out front. Yeah, and you got to stand in line for that. Go down to DMV. Tell me how that is. Everything's rubber stamped. Everything's punched out on a machine in China and sent over, and everybody does everything the same way, and everybody gets everything the same. And we're just stressed and we're automated and we've got this blank look in our eye and people say, you've got to do this. And we say, bah, okay, customize your life, slow down, find ways to enjoy things. We, my wife and I, we kept hearing about this program, Yellowstone. We don't have TV. So she found the disc the first season down to the library, and we, so we were going to try it. You know, she, we brought it in and put it on her laptop. That's where we'll watch an old Western every once in a while. 
it took no time at all and we turned that off it's like it's hollywood man i mean it's not that's not life it's not real television is not real movies are not real the news is not real there's a whole life out there that we've walked away from and left and we do not have enjoyment anymore unless we have somebody on a glass screen our phones our ipads our television entertaining us and unless we're entertained by somebody else who chooses our entertainment for us we cannot find enjoyment in life so slow down make you some good coffee the way you like it all right let it settle and we're going to have a cup of coffee. Look at that. Look at that. You're not going to get that out of no drip coffee maker. Life is yours. Make it a good one. We'll catch you next time.